tapping into one and the man in red, Zhao Chianka. Really quick slices off the top here. So this guy just has so much body talk. You loved it. Could be a few pennies in the claim jar, but that's all good. Noel knows a couple as well. As we got Zhao here, like you said, Ronnie, so much body talk. He's all over this wave. Board looks incredible under his feet. Lovely carve there, but maybe just pushing a bit too hard on this little reverse. Snapper, as fun as the wave is, can get a little soft towards the end of the ride. And sometimes you've got to see that front front on angle to, to see just the critical nature of each manoeuvre. Zhao Chianka now. Let's see what he can do. 22 years of age, working this one over. Rolling through to the inside. Gives us the little wind up. I just want you to pay attention to the backwash on this wave and just how uh, Jiao just absorbs all the uh, the bump in the thighs here. And that's almost instinctual, the way he's surfing this wave. Now Jacob's in situation. This is the one we didn't get to see. Bang, hits it hard off the top. That's why he liked it. He believes, you know, you get that set wave and you tag that lip, it's generally going to get you some pretty big numbers. This will improve his situation for Jiao. Well, Joao at the, this moment needs a 5.43. That situation will likely change. Yeah, that, that's when it's really tough to be a judge because you look back at what Jiao Chianka did on his yeah. 5.27. That was one big turn. And here's Jiao again. Good section to work with out the back. Nice combo there. Mediocre wave made meaningful by Jiao Chianka. Two big turns. We'll see if he can finish up with anything on the inside. Uh, his low score was a 493, and the score does drop for Taichi Wakita. You're spot on, Mitch, a 417, so just below the requirement, almost there. But uh, another well judged heat right there. It's always on, always on the list for sure. But I'm gonna, I'm, I'll, you'll have to check out <laughs> WorldSurfLeague.com to to check out the schedule. <laughs> Judge Yanka up and riding on his backhand, air floats to finish, and somehow stayed on his feet. Now he's going to look for that inside connection. He's staying super low, making sure not to fall off with all that white water pushing from behind him. That was a sizey outside section, and he needs to hold it together here. Not over surf, just put on that finishing touch. And he could be right back in the conversation. Needs something in the mid sevens to move up, up into the lead, but. As I said before, just that little explosiveness that he had with the lip line. They didn't completely bottom turn. And then this was the opportunity for oh, Shianka, Peter. Wow, and uh, you know, what a bonus for Shianka because next wave was twice as big. And look at this finish. Oh, up and above the lip. That's a thing that Joao brings to the table. Here we go with Ryan Callan is going to sell this one to the heat leader, Joao Chianka. Let's see what... Chanka's going to do with his purchase. A couple of oh. snaps there on the backhand, just looking smooth. Now the transition period. Little Whitewater V is going to push him along into the oh. shore break. Looks like he's going to have a golden opportunity in this shore break. Little carve for Chumbinho. Oh. And another off the top. He's been dominating in this quarter. How was the read, too, though? When he came back from that, because you go too far over on that left to be able to come back and catch that wedge. So important to do it. He did it. And look what he was got rewarded with. A nice little wedgie right. Uh, it was like a, you thought it was a sell. You wanted to be able to do it. But this way, it was awesome. I mean, two beautiful turns outside. I mean, look at this. little drift. And then seeing, oh, I got to get over to this wedge. And he did it. No worries. Just a beautiful hook and then a finish. Yeah, he knew this could be, I would say, this is probably almost better than the eight. Yeah, so did I. Might be one of the best waves of the heat so far. 19 minutes to go. Here's Joao staying busy. Already his sixth wave. Oh, beautiful layback snap right there on a bigger section. He loves it. So do we. And he's looked in good rhythm so far. Four waves above a three-point ride. His previous was a four. Here's the replay, Maida. Yeah, nice bottom turn and then a good rack right there. Another one. I love this one, like with the tail slide. Oh, heat number two of the round of 24 out there for the men. Mitchell Salazar here with Maida Pops. This is Joao Chianca. He's leading the heat at the moment. Beautiful wrap to start things off. And looking for another big finish. He gets it. He has that layback on lock. He says, in the blood, I got ice in my veins, and Joao Chianca still has 10.35 to go in this heat. 
let everything goes from the heart, you know. Look, I love this first movement there. And then the second one, really powerful and commitment. Yeah, looks. <laughs> he was kind of mad, it seemed. Oh, might be helping out, though. The anger, the aggressiveness. The anger. I don't know. He's looking to better a six-point ride. You're thinking, draw, okay, if he makes another final and if he wins one event, the chances of him qualifying are extremely high. And here he is on the left. Good start right there. Deep bottom turn and a beautiful second maneuver. And he completes it. Summer loves it. So does Samuel Pupo. Two minutes, 30 seconds to go. It's been a battle and a war of attrition so far by both gentlemen. Looking good, though. He needs a 5.64 or better, Bruno. That was a, a, a little a bigger wave, set wave. The first was, wasn't that crispy. Joao Chianca needs excellent surfing. He needs an 8.6, Bruno. And here we go with Joao. What's he got for us? Hook just to set up. Another beautiful turn, but needs something explosive and dynamic at the end. Pushing through the water. He's going to make it four on the backhand. Make it five. And <laughs> he kicks out, so we're going to see where that oh score goes. Oh, my goodness, huh? It's such big angles. He's carving. It was hard to surf, you know. It was super hard, and he did a great job, amazing job. I definitely think he will back on the game. That would be a high six or even sevens. Yeah, the composure. You know, composure. I don't know. That's the judge, but the, the link it was a the good turns. surf. Yeah, yeah. Great surf. That. How he compressed his body in the bottom turn. This two. And Kaipo, the good call was he got this wave right away mm -hmm. after yeah. Kalani. Well, you know what? He got a lucky score.